just go. Walking on air. That's a long way down. Walking on water. It's the best ride I've ever had full stop. A taste invasion. Curly fries and a burger. This is the best 4th of July ever. Our natural wonders and your chance to win a fabulous on-the-move hard roof camper. So stay with Just Go. We all know Queensland's famous Gold Coast is renowned for plenty of action and entertainment. But there's another side up here in the clouds that's a completely different world. Less than an hour inland from the sun, surf and glitz is a magical green oasis known as the Gold Coast hinterland. Wow, that is beautiful. High on the hinterland's popularity list is Tambourine Mountain and its stunning national park peppered with bushwalks that bring you to spectacular vistas, as well as several eye-catching waterfalls. Definitely check out Curtis Falls. That is pretty incredible. But for a real high, you can't go past the Tambourine Rainforest Skywalk. In fact, you go up. That's a long way down. Sure is. We get out to about 30 metres which is about the same height as an 11-storey building. Often we find um, koalas in this area here. Oh, wow. This is sort of where the eucalypt forest meets the rainforest behind us. So we're right on that um, middle ground between the two. Smell it. It's beautiful. Smell the eucalyptus. Yeah. Skywalk manager Nick Moore assures me this natural high set on 12 hectares of private rainforest is the best way to enjoy the forest canopy. This is rocking a little bit. Is it sturdy? Am I yeah, safe? It certainly is, yeah. It's been designed to move a little bit. The engineers have told us that we could put five full-grown elephants out on this tip and still be safe weight-wise, so I'm sure we're going to be OK. Well, the view from here is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty stunning. This is really the highlight of the tour, and you're getting right out over the valley and over Cedar Creek that runs through below. So wow. It's really beautiful out here. So how long does the walk take normally? The whole walk's about a K and a half or so. Strolling, reading, taking your time, which is really what it's all about, about 40 minutes or so. It's a combination of skywalking as well as on the ground, so we really encourage our guests just to take their time and take it all in. Down here by the creek, it's a complete different feel to being up there on the skywalk. Absolutely, yeah, you've got that beautiful sound of the water flowing. That's Cedar Creek that really gives life to this whole area. Are there any animals in the creek? Certainly are. There's turtles, uh, eels, and also the platypus, which is the, sort of the prize around here. Beautiful creature that's um, normally quite shy and sort of stays away, but. Uh, the platypus is often known to sort of give a little show to the customers here from time to time, so. Now, I'm not sure if there's a platypus at the Big Four NRMA Treasure Island Holiday Park where I'm staying just north of Surface Paradise, but there are some great water features and a relaxed atmosphere as I get ready to hit the hinterland again. Exploring the rainforest, this is the place to be. Pizza and beers, you can't go wrong. In pizza and beer, there's probably not a better combo. <laughs> no, a lot of people seem to enjoy it. A lot of people have it on a regular basis, I think, yeah. Ian Watson, co-owner of Fortitude Brewing at North Tambourine, says the company has a simple motto. In beer is strength. So we've got a prosciutto pizza here. What beers have you got? OK, we've got uh, five beers in our core range here. We've got our light beer called Pacer, which is an absolute must try. Have a nice big smell of it. Treat it as though you would a wine. Oh, that smells floral. Yeah, it's very floral, <laughs> very fruity. Yeah, very citric. OK. And it's one that a lot of people really can't believe that it's only 2.8% in alcohol. Ooh. We also have our Fortitude Pale Lager, which is okay. what we think the standard Australian Pale Lager should be. Oh, that's nice too. 
All right, well, the pizza's getting cold, and we can't let that happen, so um, I'm just going to get stuck into it. Enjoy. Mount Tambourine has certainly delivered nature, beer, and pizza. Let's just say I'm not complaining. Mm, mm, mm. And when you travel to the Gold Coast, be sure to take your CIL Travel Saver card with you for great deals like 25% off whale watching tours and the Gold Coast Super Saver Pass, plus 10% off the Tambourine Rainforest Skywalk. As well as discounts on tourist attractions, your free CIL Travel Saver card provides thousands of offers and savings around Australia on tours, accommodation, restaurants, fuel, theme parks, adventure sports and much more when you insure with CIL Insurance, Australia's leading specialist caravan and RV insurer. For details, go to cilinsurance.com.au. When Jusco returns, Lee's taste buds head to the US. You want some grilled onion with that? Yes. Well, thank you very much. It's hard to ignore the influence of American pop culture all over the world. For example, you might have noticed how many US style diners are popping up right around Australia. The USA is famous for its glitz and glamour, but trust me, it's definitely worth visiting an all-American diner like Soda Rock. It's like being transported back to the 60s. And I've timed my trip to perfection because today is the 4th of July, America's Independence Day, and celebrations are in full swing. The staff even have their own routine. Pretty good, aren't they? Diners like this serve up classic American dishes like burgers and hot dogs. And guess who's helping me out in the kitchen? All right, so I'm not quite sure what to call you. Elvin. Elvinus. Elvinus, okay. All right, Elvinus, what are we cooking? Today we're gonna cook a good old hubcap. Classic American burger. Straight right. from America. So we'll chuck one of these hoods on. Okay. Right on top like that. Yep. Do you remember, I'm going to put some bacon in there as well. Chuck two pieces of bacon on. You want some grilled onion with that? Yes. Take some onion. What's your favorite food? Definitely curly fries. Oh, yum! I love curly fries. We've got some. Oh, we should definitely do some curly fries. All right, favorite American city. Ah, Las Vegas. Of course, of course. And favourite performer, need I ask? You don't even need to ask. El Venus, right? El Venus. <laughs> Do you want some cheese? I, yes, I would love some cheese. We'll chuck the hood back on again, mm -hmm. get it nice and steamy. And then it's almost done, right? Because I can smell the bacon, the cheese is melting on the patties, the buns are toasting. We're almost ready to assemble. We are? Alright, time to assemble. You know, I've only just noticed that you're we you've been wearing roller skates this entire time. That's <laughs> what I do best. I love it, I love it. Okay, oh. so first we're gonna chuck some mayo on. Right, next. Pickle relish. Pickled relish. We'll chuck on three pickles. Three pickles. And then we're gonna chuck on our meat. Oh yeah. Our meat with our cheese. Doesn't that look good? Onion. Onion on top. We've got to put some lettuce. Now we've got tomatoes. Oh, it's all about the love. I know. And we've got mustard. And then what you got to do is flip. It's flip. Perfect. Got it. All right. So we're going to fold paper in half. Yep. Over the top, pick it up, fold underneath. Uh-huh. Twist and under. OK. All right. So fold it in half and on the burger. Lift. Lift her up. Underneath. Underneath. And twist. twist. And under. And under. I got it. Cheers. Hey, cheers to that. You know what? Curly fries and a burger, this is the best 4th of July ever. I've got a suggestion. <laughs> Topping off with an American flag. Oh, read my mind. Oh. 
Up next on Just Go, Jeff and I hit the Murray hard. Ah, race! And an easy way to win a fantastic on-the-move hard roof camper. <laughs> Jeff and I are on our way to Yarrawonga, on the Murray River, about an hour downstream from Albury. With a climate compared to southern Italy, this region grows some of the best produce in the world. In fact, the Murray Basin's often called the food bowl of the nation. How many olive trees have you got? 36,000. <laughs> Ros Vodjasek and her husband Damien run Rich Glen Estate, a few minutes out of Yarrawonga, right on the Murray. So these are a Frantoia olive, so they're just for making the extra virgin olive oil. They're a bit small for um, table olives, but make beautiful, fresh, nutty, peppery oil. Well, I'm a massive olive man, so do you mind if I try one? Give it a go. I love them. <laughs> Absolutely love them. Oh, not what you'd expect. <laughs> no, well, they're not they're ripe yet. Bitter. But it tastes so bitter, like when you pick it off the tree, but within a couple of hours, it's made into this, you know, superb tasting oil. Besides olives, Rich Glen's 80 hectares of fertile river soil produce a range of fruit, grain and vegetables. To buy Rich Glen products, you can drop into Ros's shop, which is part of a farm gate tour around Yarrawonga. OK, fellas, here's the finished product. Oh. And some of our extra virgin olive oil. All we need now is a nice, juicy steak. I know, just the place my husband runs a butcher shop in Yarrawonga. God, you guys have got the market covered, don't you? Oh, we do our best. So where are we off to now, racy boy? Lake Mulwala, mate, for some uh, water sports. Water sports? Oh, yeah, fair enough. Lake Mulwala was created by damming the Murray to irrigate farms, like Rich Glen Estate. A popular byproduct of this is... Best ride you've ever had on one of those things. <laughs> the best ride I've ever had full stop. Now that was fun. But one thing I've always wanted to try is wakeboarding. Oh, more, 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 more. That's enough. Steady at that. Steady at that. Look at that, he just comes straight out. Yeah, he's popping up very easy. Yeah, he reckons he's never done it before. That, I think that's just that's not true. Yeah, but, whoa. <laughs> yeah, a bit of it. Phil Smith and his wife Val have been operating ski rides on Lake Mulwala for almost 50 years. Righto, besides wakeboarding, what else do you offer? Well, we offer the barbecue pontoon hire, fishing boat hire, canoe hire, canoe trips down the river. Why is this so good for water sport? A lot of the true wakeboarders go all the way to Bunlong, which is at the top head of the lake, some 18 kilometres away. You can ski that far? Yes. What about good old Reese hanging off the back here? He might have been putting it over us. Yeah, it's a bit fishy, right? Yeah, a bit fishy. Well, I think it's time to get going. Yeah, let's get going. Anyhow, enough showing off for one day. Now, Phil did mention a barbecue pontoon, and I've got the steaks from Roz's husband. Mate, this olive oil rub looks fantastic. Thank you, Roz, hey? 50 odd years on Lake Mawala. There's not much you don't know, I bet. Like, for instance, what about the photo behind us here? Like, do they drain the lake occasionally, do they? Yeah, generally it's drained for um, mitigation of weeds and usually every four to six years. When they do drain it, they drain it right back to the natural river course. And roughly half the water diverted from the Murray for irrigation comes from this lake? That's right. Is that, right, is that really right, Phil? Of course, yes. Oh, I so wanted him to be wrong. Surrounded by all this, enjoying fresh local produce, how could you go wrong? Sauce is good. He's very good sauce. Hey, guys, would you like to just go anywhere you want, anytime you want? Well, here's your chance, because we're giving away this amazing 3.2-metre hand-built hard roof camper trailer made especially for Just Go viewers. 
the latest from proudly Aussie-owned company On The Move Caravans, it's the perfect solution for anyone who wants to go free camping but is space conscious. Let's take a look. This easy to use Swift outdoor kitchen will cook up a magnificent fresh cod breakfast. It's even got a hot outdoor shower. Inside, you're spoiled with stylish tag ball furniture, a Dometic fridge and air conditioner, an NCE TV and an RV upholstery double bed. Back outside, the Aussie Traveller awning sets up in no time. And did I mention we want you to name this fantastic new model? Plus, you'll also receive a year's free insurance on the van thanks to CIL, Australia's leading caravan and RV insurance specialist. Plus, you get a free CIL travel saver card. How good's that? This little beauty is designed as a tough off-roader that will get you to those out-of-the-way places that are great for things like fishing. Golly, I hope they're biting. To enter, and for a full list of terms and conditions, jump on our website, justgotv.com.au, and tell us why you'd love to win the first of these fantastic new campers and what you think it should be named. Coming up on Just Go, nature's amazing hotspots. Now it's time for our Just Go Hotspots. A quick look at some great places around Australia you might want to add to your travel bucket list. Today, we're focusing on some of our natural wonders, beginning with the unspoiled beauty of Tasmania's Bruni Island. The 15-minute ferry ride to get there is part of the fun. And when you do, the rolling countryside puts you at ease straight away. But don't be fooled. When it comes to food and wine and chic shopping, this secluded getaway can hold its own with any mainland hotspot. But it's Bruni's natural assets that most people come to admire. Really two islands joined by a narrow stretch of land called The Neck, Bruni is a haven for wildlife like penguins, seals, dolphins and albatross, and the rugged coastline they inhabit. Half-day eco-cruises are available that take you up close and personal to this pristine wonderland. Be sure to keep an eye and ear out for the most amazing formation known as the Breathing Rock. Less than a couple of hours from Sydney, the Blue Mountains are a popular year-round destination for a holiday or just a day trip. The picturesque towns nestled among the range offer great art and craft shops and gourmet delights. But it's the Blue Mountains' stunning natural setting that's the real attraction. The Three Sisters are the most famous feature, but there's no shortage of breathtaking views over the eucalypt-filled valley below. There's plenty of free lookouts, with Echo Point probably the best known. But if you're prepared to spend a little, Scenic World in Katoomba has several ways to experience an unforgettable high. Journeying 545 metres into the Jamison Valley and back, the Scenic Cableway is the steepest and largest aerial cable car in the Southern Hemisphere. The Scenic Skyway provides a similar 360 degree panorama. And the original Scenic Railway is another way to soak up the majestic blue haze from on high. Once you reach the bottom, the oldest form of travel, your feet, are all you'll need to enjoy the rainforest walks and waterfalls. If you're after something more landscaped, wander around the stunning Mayfield Garden in Oberon, one of the world's largest privately owned cool climate gardens. The impressive water garden is open for inspection every day of the year and is truly a place of beauty. In a state boasting some of the best beaches and weather on Earth, many tourists rate Queensland's Fraser Island close to their number one hotspot. 120 kilometres long and 22 k's wide, it's the world's largest sand island blessed with more than 100 crystal clear freshwater lakes 
ancient rainforests and a white shoreline that stretches forever. Many people camp on the island, but if you prefer the comforts of home, there's also the four-star Kingfisher Bay Resort. A great way to see this World Heritage listed treasure is from the sky. And don't worry about finding the airport, the scenic flights take off and land right on the beach. Fraser Island's coast is also the site of many shipwrecks, including the SS Mahino which has been a popular subject for photographers since it came to rest here 80 years ago. Oh, and if you're contemplating a quiet stroll along the beach, just remember cars use it as a thoroughfare and together with planes coming and going, it can get a little busy at peak hour. Well, that's it for now. But if you'd like more info about the great places featured on today's show, or to enter the fantastic On The Move Hard Roof Camper Competition, go to our website, justgotv.com.au. And to get the most out of what this stunning country has to offer, my advice, just go.